is up everyone? Welcome to Alt Knots. I have a bag of yarn here that I have not looked through in probably a month, maybe even two months. And that is because it has been in yarn timeout for that long. It is yarn that is like scrubby, totally perfect for things like in the kitchen, in the bathroom. It's awesome yarn for that. There's a couple different brands in here, but the one that I love particularly is the Red Heart Scrubby. It's perfect. And it even comes with a little pattern on every single one of these skeins. It's just this little flower scrubby type thing. It's the perfect size. It uses a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I love how lightweight they are. It ends up being really small. I don't like making huge dishcloths or dish rags or anything like that. I don't want to be giant. If you sit down and work one of these, it takes maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes if I'm watching a movie and not really paying attention, but I could only do like maybe five at a time because it just hurts my fingers so badly. Due to the nature of what it is, it is scrubby. So it is really abrasive when it comes to working with it on my fingers. I've tried so many different patterns with it. Like I said, a month or so ago, I decided, you know what? No, I'm just done with this. I'm not even gonna look at it for a little while. While I was doing a little cleanup of the yarn dungeon, I found the bag again and decided it was time to make a decision. Am I going to keep this? Am I going to donate it? Am I actually going to use it? Like what is my plan or ideas with this? Because there's a lot. There is another brand in here, which is called this one is Lion Brands, Lion Brand Yarn Stitch Soak Scrub. It is made with a 100% nylon. None of this is new yarn. It's a medium number four. And okay, the main reason that I haven't used it this much is listen to this. I really want to like this. Use a five millimeter crochet hook, medium number four. I'm sure that there are patterns and stuff on Lion Brand's actual site. I personally have not looked yet. I ended up grabbing one in every color when they came out with this, which was like, again, a long time ago. And immediately when I touched them was like, ooh, I don't know if I can work with this. Like, I just genuinely don't. There are many reasons, but that's reason number one. Reason number two, if I can pull it out, because I'm sure there's one that already has a tag ripped off. Yes, this one. When you pull the tag off of this, this is what happens. This stuff just... Yeah, it has a mind of its own and it just immediately starts making a mess. And you can see it's really like bouncy, really springy. They are little chains all connected together and it is super stretchy, hence it's a 100% nylon. The way that I normally work up my crochet, I have pretty loose tension, but it doesn't work with this stuff. Because of the fact that it's so stretchy and so springy, I have to consciously be aware of how tight my tension is to make sure that each stitch is defined very similarly. And I found that if I have a little bit of a tighter tension, it seems to work a little better on this. But then that goes back to this just feels odd to me and I don't know if I can power through it. So I made a couple of just like circle ones with crochet and again, that noise, it just really gets me. The thing is, these are again, really, really good when they come to scrubbies. Like they do a great job of cleaning. When you wash them, they don't retain any like kitchen smells, I guess. They stay like new for a rather long time, which is the original reason that I got this and wanted to try them. So that pink, the red, I have this one. I love this color. This was the black and green together. And here's the black. The black is a mess because I've just been playing around with this. This is just total mess here. But I'm ready to get back into it. I want to add some new additions to my kitchen. I'm not really changing the theme of my kitchen this year. We're gonna stay with the slasher. So reds and blacks, maybe some greens. I don't know, greens if I want to. Black and orange would work too, Halloween style. Which led me to thinking about different ways that I could work with this yarn and actually make it doable. <laughs> like, not hate the process. If I'm not enjoying the process of making these crochet scrubbies, like what is even the point? You know, I could just go ahead and order some scrubbies. Basically, I'm not gonna crochet these up if the entire process is just not fun to me anymore. I was thinking, what if I did Tunisian crochet? 
crochet. I'm definitely finding my vibe when it comes to Tunisian crochet, so I don't get fatigued as quickly as I did before. So here's my thoughts. I am gonna try a six millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. This one says, well, I should probably do a 6.5. This one says 5.5. This one says five. Okay, so six and a six five. I'll grab those and try it. I have been loving Tunisian crochet a lot lately, so having this project to do at the end of the night would be really awesome. My goal for every year when it comes to redoing my kitchen, I like to have 20 to 30 of these at any given moment in time. Not being out and used at all times, I like to keep them in stacks of five and bring them out as I need them. They also make for really good gifts, so it's nice to have them on hand just in case I need a last minute gift. Bag of yarn, hello, that is literally the most perfect thing to go right underneath my elbow. Six and 6.5. I decided to get the ones that are the long handled. I do have other ones that are a little bit shorter and I think they would totally work. I'm only gonna do what? 10 to 15 stitches. I don't think I really need these really long ones. They have this little end piece on here and it adds a little bit of weight onto it, which seems to be the thing that I like and does not fatigue my hand as often. So we're gonna try these out first. Let's just do this one since I'm, if it does work, I will want a lot of these. So I might as well do this color first. Does it actually have a name or is it just black scrubby yarn? It's literally just black scrubby yarn. That's it, that's the name of it. No punny yarn name here. If you've never used this type of yarn before, when you first feel it, it doesn't feel bad. Like it doesn't feel super abrasive or anything. It's just the constant scratching on my skin that obviously I don't like. We're gonna pull from the middle. That was a whole thing of mess. I should have just left the label on. I don't know why I took the label off. It may actually be a little bit easier to see the stitches. With crochet, it is rather difficult because there are a lot of different pieces of yarn going everywhere, again, for the scrubby type of thing, but all these little bits make it very difficult to see, and you're pretty much just doing it by feeling, knowing exactly where the next stitch is. Let's do 15. That's normally about the size of scrubbies that I like. I don't want them any bigger than that anyways. That first row was pretty difficult. I <laughs> could not see the stitches in any way, shape, or form, so this may actually not work. Not much easier than actually crocheting it up. Maybe it's slightly easier because I'm not doing it in a circle and I know how many vertical bars there should be. I don't know. Another thing that I don't enjoy about this yarn is that when it gets tangled, it really gets tangled to the point where you have to be really careful, otherwise you end up just having to cut it. There's not much more you can do when it actually knots on itself. Why I do this to myself, I don't know. Maybe, uh, I still think there's a little knot. No, there we go, awesome. I'm just doing Tunisian simple stitch. I figured that was gonna be the easiest thing to see in this whole mess here. So we have our Haunted Audible book club going on right now and we're listening to Long Live the Pumpkin Queen which is a great book, but I have two different versions of it. I have an actual paperback copy and then I have my Audible book. And I've been finding that I've been reading it at the end of the night, like 30 minutes to an hour, or honestly, however long I can stay awake. I've been reading it that way and I've really been enjoying the whole process. So I've decided that that's how I'm gonna read this one this month, which means I need to find something else to listen to throughout the entire month as I'm crocheting or working on projects, things like that, I need something else. I do have two more credits left on my Audible account. So I was just kind of scrolling through and I just decided to do it. I grabbed another Darcy Coates book. It was one that I really wanted to read and it is a super quick read though. This is gonna take no time at all. Let me see, how many hours is it actually? Two hours and 47 minutes. It was one of the choices for our Haunted Audible book club this month. Total end of summer ween type of vibes, creepy looking lake. I just kind of pass it up and it's, yeah. So it's on, it's in my library now. I'm gonna start that up this afternoon. Nine, okay, one more and then I'll be done. So this is kind of the size that I'm going for. So far, my hand is not worn out. I'm gonna do a quick slip stitch to close up this last row. I'm not gonna do a border personally. I think it would just be a waste of time and yarn but not terrible, that did not take me long at all to do, which is my goal of what I wanted from these. Where's my scissors? 
less time on my fingers. I feel like I did this a lot quicker than the other ones or the pattern that I've been using before. Definitely this hand does not hurt at all. For this one, total win. I'm not gonna get rid of this yarn, the red scrubbies. I will now go ahead and use Tunisian crochet when I make my scrubbies. Let's pick a color we're excited about. I guess we'll just do the black again. I am cutting this though. I am not even gonna deal with that mess. Yeah, we're gonna start new spot. I also need a yarn bowl because this is just gonna turn into a hot mess really quickly. Actually, let's just use this. Let's take this yarn out. There we go, perfect. Consistent tension all the way across. It's the hardest thing because of how stretchy it is. Let's go, let's do it though. Ugh, and it's that noise. That's really the thing that gets me, is the noise. I thought maybe it would be a little bit different on Tunisian crochet. I don't know though. I think I'm just gonna have to pass on this one. As much as I want to like this, it's a really cool concept and I just dropped the stitches. So there we go, mine made up for me. The texture, it's the sounds, it's everything all together. There's nothing wrong with this and I feel like if you can get past those couple of things, it would be really fantastic and perfect for scrubbies. This, however, I am gonna keep working up a bunch of these. Before I get all settled in, I'm gonna choose a movie because it's gonna take a second here. I'm never not feeling campy horror, let's do that. Ready or not, I haven't watched that this month. I realize it's only the beginning of August, but this is one of my favorites, so it's impressive that I haven't watched it yet. Switch to this one. I almost like this better than this, but it's gonna look really cool with all this combined. I've gotten three done in this one sitting, but it is getting a little bit late. It's almost nine o'clock at night. I need to go for a run before it gets too dark out. But update, my hands do not hurt like at all. The black and white marble, yeah, I'm liking that a lot. All five are finished. The ends are totally weaved in. There was only two for each square, so it did not take that long to weave the ends in. I love it. I'm gonna keep doing it this way. I think it was a great call to try Tunisian crochet. And if you are like me and you love the idea and the concept behind this yarn, but it's just a little too abrasive on your skin, I would 100% say try Tunisian crochet. As far as size goes, I cast on 15 stitches and did 10 rows. It is gonna curl a little bit, and if you don't like that curl, you could totally block this. Personally, I'm not going to, it doesn't bother me. It is, once again, just for the kitchen. So it does not bother me in the slightest, but blocking would 100% help that and really relax the fibers. All in all, the experiment was totally successful. I now have five out of the 30 scrubbies that I wanna make before October 1st. I think I'm just gonna put it on my planner. Every Tuesday, I'll try to make 10. That would be a nice goal. If I didn't have my run right in between everything, I totally could have got all of these done in less than an hour. They went a lot quicker than I thought they were going to. Something at the end of the night, I'm not gonna have to think about it. Very repetitive, so I can power through them rather quickly now, which is totally what I wanted for this project. Success all around. All right, ghouls, that is it for today. I seriously appreciate you hanging out with me and working up this experiment of Tunisian crochet. If you are planning on making your very own, please let me know in the comments. Maybe you're using the nylon one and you have a specific way that you like to work with that. Let me know. I will hang on to the yarn for a little bit longer, see if maybe I can find another way to use it. But at this moment in time, we're just sticking with the scrubby yarn. So for now, that is it. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.